Alrighty, knuckleheads. Grumpy Grandpa here. A better half. Yeah, she's taking a siesta, and so have I. We've been really busy here lately, and uh, I gotta say, you know, if we did a videos, the I told you videos, they're not that flattering. You know, everything that me and Debbie have predicted has come true. We've got inflation through the roof. You know, we said that was coming. We said they were going to cut off our supply as, and, and keep making it harder to get stuff. That's true. Uh, we said that the gas prices were going to go through the roof underneath this administration. Yeah, that's true. And uh, this whole Ukrainian thing, though, that came out of the blue. But I've been doing my own research on this, you know, and watching, watching extensive videos. Now, I got to say, you know, back in, uh, even before, uh, while President Bush was our uh, president, he was sending over McCain, Graham, Obama as a senator, and they were doing all this stuff, uh, nefarious stuff. That was way back then. We already started mucking around in Ukraine, you know, putting our feet in there. Then in 2014, we pretty much, they, you know, took out the sitting president and put in a puppet president in 2014. And that was done under the Obama administration and, you know, Hillary and all those great, wonderful people. So mucking around back then, got it, our nose knee deep in Ukraine. Then, you know, you do the research on all the uh, family members of the Congress people and everybody else and the president, Hunter, Kerry, Romney, Pelosi, family making, family members just making a buttload of money over there. And here's how it works, people, you know. I'm just a lonely man here, but I can figure this stuff out. See, we give billions of dollars over there to Ukraine. This happens everywhere in the, in the world. Though. We give billions of dollars to Ukraine, and then they kick back so much to, eat, you know, the politicians for giving them billions of dollars, and then they give it back to the politicians as kickbacks, and... That's how it works, people. Come on now. And Ukraine has been a big laundering money scam for who knows how long. And, um, oh, McCain. Oh, gosh. McCain was going over there, too, you know. And uh, Graham. I'm going to just go into all these people that have been in uh, Congress for ye and Senate and, you know, presidents for years. That nobody will vote these people out. They just stay in there and they do their cronyisms forever. Okay? So, I just wanted to do a video. And, they, you know, there's tons of people better than me, people. Go out there, do your research. I like And We Know over on the Rumbles. Salty Cracker. Boy, he's just... He just... Shoot straight, tells it like it is to all those people out there. I mean, there's time. Red Pill 78. All these people do great research, people. I don't have the time here lately. I work full time. Debbie works full time. We got Puppy. I wish my wife could bring it in here so I could show you how big this pup. And the puppy learned parkour. Furniture parkour. I'm not lying. This dog will fly from the couch, go in there, boom, bounce off the couch, fly over things, go over to that chair, jump over it. Then it, it has its steps to get up on the bed that I built for my old dog that was elderly. Works out great for the puppy, although she doesn't need them now. But she likes to sleep underneath her, so I'm not taking them away. She goes running underneath the bed there, comes back around and bounces off the walls and stuff. So I come home. I'm tired. You know, we got a puppy now that demands our attention, people. So it's hard to put together a show whenever there's a puppy demanding your attention. All you YouTubers understand, if you have a dog, how hard it is to put these shows together under that. Got all that. 
So I just wanted to catch up with you. Debbie now, she's going to have spring break. So we might start putting out some uh, two old people on a couch. Next, don't hold her to it. She, she's got to come around, people. She's got to want to do it again. And it's just hard right now. So I, so I kind of went over the Ukraine thing. Hey, this summer is going to be the summer of truth. I think a lot of these demonic people out here and everything doing bad and everything are going to start to lose. And uh, good things are coming out if I'm, my research is doing right and everything. Uh, more truth is going to come out about all the nefarious stuff going on in the backgrounds. And uh, it's just like the uh, biological labs over in Ukraine. I don't know if you caught that or not, but the... You know, you weren't allowed to talk about it on YouTube. Salty Cracker got banned for a smidge until people protested it. And then come to find out, like a week later, our government saying, yeah, there's biological labs over there. So, I mean, he was right. And everybody for months that have been saying these biological uh, labs are over there were correct. I mean, there's no denying it now. And I liked how she said, oh, you know, she had to answer the question from uh, Senator Rubio. He was like, hey, is there any biological weapons in Ukraine? And of course, the pause like, oh, how can I say this? So if it comes back later, I won't have lied. She goes, e uh, no. Let me tell you what uh, they do have biological labs over there and uh we're concerned about you know the russians getting the information from those labs so we told them how they can uh bury it deep and uh, hide everything that's going on at those labs so that russia can't figure out you know can't steal that information and i'm like well if you're if these biological labs are just for good and then you know russia steals the good information no it's still good for the world you know they just got good information so uh why worry about it right you know and so it's just hilarious i mean they can't just come out and never tell the truth it's like just say yeah they got biological weapons over there you know kind of getting caught with their pants down because so we were helping funding those things and everything too and yeah it's you know maybe putin was right maybe there are biological weapons or labs in ukraine right so you can't believe a word you're they're they're saying out there people and again this and these conspiracy things aren't taking six months to find out anymore it's like a week later, conspiracy getting kicked off of YouTube, turning into facts and truths. Got to backtrack now. So I've got my uh, waiting list on Truth so Social. So again, that's a good platform so people can just say what they think is going on and, you know, change ideas. Freedom of speech. So we got that going on. Rumble, great platform. You can say just about anything over there that you you know. Again, these are all my theories, people. I'm just going with my good old common sense, and it hasn't failed me yet. I've been right on everything with this administration so far, and if I'm right, this summer is going to be a whale of a good truth coming out. And a lot of things will be exposed. So, again, it's just my theory. But if my track record holds true, truth is coming out this summer, people. And droves. And uh, the people are seeing it left and right. They know when they're being duped or not by their government here a lot better. A lot of people are coming around. So, it's great talking with you again. I'm going to keep on putting out some more videos. I just, you know... You just got to get in here, sit down, and get going. Uh, again, 
the I told you so videos, they're not that flattering. And it's not going to help people come around either, you know. So that's basically a lot of what I'd be saying right now is I told you so. And uh, yeah, this Ukraine thing, hey, Putin's no, you know, okay. I got to explain this too because then everybody's going to be like, well, you do you like Putin? Eh, no. But do I think Putin's worried about the one world order? that the Klaus Schwab's, the Bill Gates, and the West trying to take over the world and take over his part of the world too and uh, have this one world order. Darn tootin' I think Putin's worried about that. And uh, they're playing around in it, you know, right next to him in Ukraine. And yeah, he's a mob boss, wants to Okay, let's look. You got two mob families. Like, let's go back to the old New York days. Two Italian families. They got, you know, you got that part of New York that you can just, you know, pillage. We got this side. This other mob family is pillaging over here on this side of New York. And, you know, everything's going great until one of those families says, I want it all. And then, boom, you know, all heck breaks loose. That's what's going on. And you got a mob boss that's running Russia. And you got mob bosses in Ukraine that are pretty much fingers of our own United States. You know, got their hands all over Ukraine. Mob boss running all the nefarious stuff in Ukraine. And they're duking it out right now. And I do think Russia, they're not, they don't want to hurt any of the people. So they are they could have just gone in there, carpet bombed the crap out of Ukraine first. That's how you, if you want to take over something and you want to do it, you know, legitimately, you just carpet bomb everything. And you take out all the infrastructure. You take out their power. They're everything. Bridges. You just bomb the crap out of it and just weaken them to death. Then you move your tanks and stuff right in and your ground troops and take it over. That's not happening over there. It's almost like they're just going in there. Now, again, Putin says he wants to get rid of the neo-Nazis and the bioweapons and they don't want them to join NATO and they don't want them to you know, with the the uh, e, you know, the European UE or what, European Union, I don't know what the whatever the EU or whatever. They don't want them joining that. They don't want them to become Ukraine to become Westernized because they're right next to Ukraine. And then you got the Minsk, the, the Minsk Agreements, uh, Accords that were signed and everybody agreed to and uh ukraine has been just uh not holding up to that and they've been bugging the people that kind of are more russia based near russia a couple regions of ukraine that said hey i don't like this corrupt ukraine we're going to kind of break off and do our own thing and of course ukraine didn't like that so they were bombing those people and uh then Russia stepped in and they came up with the, the Minsk agreements. I think that's what it's called. And uh, Ukraine's been you know, breaking those agreements left and right. So Russia, again, isn't happy about that. So again, you got to do your research, people, on the people that are involved over there in uh, Ukraine. Just look at all our politicians that have had their little greedy fingers all over Ukraine. And we just butted into them until we, you know, when we picked, we kind of placed in our president over there, Zelensky, right? Not like, oh, not, not Zelensky, but in 2014, they put in a puppet uh, president that was westernized, you know, more leaning towards uh, America. And then we've been just doing all kind of nefarious stuff over there ever since 2014. Look it up. Do your research. Don't take my word for it. And uh, I think a lot of the same stuff went on here in 2020. 
might find out some of those truths coming up this summer. That's what I'm talking about, people. A lot is coming to the forefront. Boy, and uh, the way it's going down in Russia. And all of a sudden, you know, once our politicians start dressing up at our State of the Union in Ukrainian colors, and the media is like, oh, you know, Ukrainian, you know, having a love fest with them and uh, everything. And then uh, the star, you know, all your your Hollywood stars and everything. It's like red flags go up everywhere for me whenever that starts happening. Because my mainstream media, I haven't been too big a fans of. They've been trying to, you know, do a narrative with this CV thing that's been going on for the last two years. And they've been lying to us. That truth is coming out, boy, hugely. And then, you know, where's Dr. Fauci? Where's Mr. Science? Boy, they put him in a closet because all this narrative is falling apart. They want you to forget about them taking away your freedoms and, and shutting down your small businesses and mandating stuff on you and and screwing up our kids that's a whole nother story right there to where they're all whacked in the head and uh yeah it's just a whole nother story i'm rambling here i gotta go i got a puppy dog and a wife over there that needs my attention so uh yeah that's it people uh we'll be back though two old people on the couch i'll talk debbie into doing a show and and we'll go find ned and we'll bring him out of the woods. And we'll, oh, he's been out of the woods. He went with the uh, truckers. Oh, yeah. What about that? You know, we're so worried about freedom all of a sudden over in Ukraine. But you got a guy over in Canada saying that he, he's he got a loophole. Trudeau says he's got a loophole. And he's going to take away, you know, people's majority of the people are going to take the minority of people's rights away with a loophole and uh and uh take away their freedoms and stuff like that you're just gonna have to deal with it you know here's a guy trudeau taking away people's freedoms up in canada and america doesn't get concerned about that at all but oh my gosh ooh, you know ukraine you know we got to be all about ukraine yeah it's all a joke people do your research, and uh, I'm not even going to joke. I usually say at the end of my videos, I'll just say, like I say at the end of all my videos, something. I got nothing for you. Do your own research, like on two old people on the couch. Look all this up. Start watching what you can, not just the mainstream media, not just your politicians. Dig into it. Great talking with you and catching up with you all. Have a great evening.